So natural gas. Let's get into natural gas. What, okay. do, we, what do we got going what here? What do we got going? We know that it's cold in the Northeast. It's cold in the Midwest. It sure is. And natural man. gas will probably go down. We pulled it up. So Chicago temperature right now like 23 degrees. Yeah. And of course, the wind chill brings it down to right. you know feels like something like 11. Uh, 11. But Boston, man, the the Real raw temperature, the raw 15. temp, 15 degrees, man, and I'm sure they have a feels like that's below that as well. We'll jump into commodities. Let me just refresh this real quick. Get all the active contracts in here. Natural gas. It's 10.22. We're looking at the January contract. I'm going to jump into the 11 a.m. So we're trading at 2.25 right now, which is nice as the contracts line up right with 2.25 as an option. I'm going to jump while this loads to the whisper numbers over here to see what we're looking for. Oh, you came in number three yesterday. You see that? We did, yeah. So yeah. oil number. We were close, man. We were close. All right. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer today. So yeah. what do we got? Let's see. We got natural gas. I'm jumping around screens, but we're trading at 225.2, and it looks like they're charging almost a penny on the bullish side. And then, and then you'd be paying a similar trade on the bearish side because the contract is trading right basically at that inflection. There you go. You're paying a penny. So you're going to... 21 bucks or about two pennies, give or take, that you'd need in action and pulling this screen over. So the market looking for a decline of about between 91 to 95 billion cubic feet. Um, last week it was right next to it, remember? I mean, they only missed it by like one or two. We're going to go 96. There you go. Decline in 96, and we'll see where we come in. we got about a minute. Those oh, so that's bullish, yeah. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. There'd be right. a little bit less than the right. market's looking for. Um, there's not much room to go down in natural gas, you might say, but the market continues to defy that logic, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's the 11 a.m. expirations. If you wanted to go out until noon, let's see what kind of different volatility. You still have the same contract. You're going to be paying about, it looks like. Uh, now, this is where, again, we covered it. Look at the bid offer spread here. Just be careful. Let's see where we are here. Yeah, same thing. You're paying seven ticks, man. Big, big spread um, bid offer. When you got to pay it on both sides, right. to execute, you know. You, as the buyer, are able to buy this at 226.5. The market maker is only willing to buy it themselves at 225.8. Just something to be aware of, man. Um, so you're paying 15 bucks on the bullish side. This is to go out till noon. You're probably going to be paying, let's see. You got a little bit as this ticks away. We're now trading at 225.6 almost. So you're paying 10 here, two and a half, two and a half pennies, two and a half pennies till noon. Away from, uh, uh, what, 2... 225. 225, okay. So 227.5, somewhere around there, or 222.5 becomes your break-even. And let's just see if the dailies line up at all. So those would be 230 on the big dailies. Let's see if these, so no real action. 11s or 12s would give you the option of 225 um, right in there. Let me look at this. So uh, NQ, no, NG, NG... Active. Okay, so let's see. So it's trading. Even this is delayed quote, but it's trading right where we just looked. Yeah, it's at just kind of been hanging, right? Oh, look at this, man! It's right at some lows. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's going to get interesting, man. Okay. Looks to me like you're going to get out of that 215. <laughs> okay. <laughs> get a high volume low there. Okay. So that would be saying that, uh, yeah, you, you, you went over, which is good. No, it would be the other way. Oh. I went over on a negative side. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. You might be looking for less of a draw, which would mean more in the supply chain. Right. And maybe some cheaper prices. But you know what, man? Like we see in this natural gas, we might get a bigger drawdown than you might expect. And the price still might go down. That seems to be the trend recently. I know. No matter what happens with yeah. the EIA inventory numbers, natural gas can't find a bid, man. Right. Right. And so picture what, what does happen, folks, and this is important to understand. Natural gas is traded. Let me see if it says exactly where it's traded. And this is important to understand in the context of that's all like coming out of the city that is coming out of is important because natural gas is not transferable like from, let's say, if it's Louisiana out to California immediately. OK. Yes. And that's a big problem. You know yes. what I mean? And that, that's that's what we're talking about here, sure. okay? Then that's sure. that's what's trading. Stay right there, folks. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so, natural gas, what do we have here? We have a decline of 107 billion cubic feet. So, quite a decline. Um, much more than the market had expected. We put in there a decline of 96. Probably not going to get us on the podium, as that's 11 billion cubic feet off the actual number. 
But that type of decline, you should expect a pop in the price of natural gas. Hmm. Is the market going to cooperate? Oh, it sure is. No? <laughs> is that? No, that's crude. Excuse me. Hold on one second. Where's our chart? Is it hiding? Well, let's just pull it up. Let's see. I think we're going to get a pop. 227.7. Fundamentally, 2.7 pennies. Pop. We did. We got a little bit of a pop. Two and a half, almost three pennies. Yeah. So there's the acceleration. We were sitting at about 225. When we were covering that number, we ticked up to about 225.5. And you see the pop on a decline. But as we said, we've already lost a penny, penny and a half since that number came out. And we'll see if natural gas can hold that bid as the price, like we said, right? No matter what happens, we said, continues to struggle to find a bid. And in the face of a decline of 107 billion cubic feet in the EIA inventories, right. You have natural gas basically right where it was trading at. At what time is that? Right. 5.30 this morning? So, so picture, you know, going long natural gas, folks, is like going shot Tesla. Both whoever's long natural gas and shot Tesla has got to be going over that in mind because when you look at it fundamentally, it makes zero sense. But guess what? It is what it is. That's yeah. you, Dad. That's right. the market is what it is, man. Right. It is what it is. Crazy. It is.